welcome to pre math in this video we have got this circle as you can see in this diagram such that uh, these two chords b d and a c are perpendicular to each other moreover the length of uh, these chords are 5 7 and 8 respectively now we are going to calculate the length of this chord b d Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let me go ahead and call this length PC as X. And we know this whole length AC is 8 units. So therefore this length AP is going to be 8 minus x so therefore our length a p turns out to be 8 minus x and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, triangle a p b and we know that this is a right triangle so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call the longest leg this hypotenuse as c I'm going to call this side A and this side B. And now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case is BP. So I'm going to write down BP whole square plus B in our case is 8 minus X whole square equal to 7 square now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square we are going to apply it on the left hand side over here so this whole thing is going to become bp whole square and this is going to become 64 minus 16 x plus x square equal to 49 Let's go ahead and move everything to the right hand side so we can isolate BP whole square and this is going to become 49 minus 64 plus 16X minus X square. And in this next step, we have combined these like terms. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number one. And now let's focus on this other triangle BPC. And we know that this is a right triangle as well. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg our this hypotenuse side C I'm going to call this side A and this side B now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula A in our case is BP so this is going to become BP whole square plus B in our case is X so this is going to be X square equal to 5 square now let's go ahead and move this uh, x square on the right hand side so our bp whole square is going to be 25 minus uh, x square now let me go ahead and call this our equation number two and now let's go ahead and compare equations one and two since the left hand sides uh, are same so we can equate the right hand sides as well so therefore we can write 16 x minus x square minus 15 equal to 25 minus x square and now we can see negative x square and negative x square is gone on both sides. So therefore we are ended up with the 16x minus 15 equals to 25. Let's go ahead and add 15 on both sides. This is gone. So 16x turns out to be equal to 40. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 16. So our x value when we reduce this thing that is going to become 
फाइव डिवाइड बाय टू सो दस आवर एक्स वैल्यू टर्न्स आउट टू बी फाइव डिवाइड बाय टू सो देर फॉर आवर दिस लेंथ एक्स आई एम गोइंग टू रिप्लेस इट बाय फाइव डिवाइड बाय टू लाइकवाइज आई एम गोइंग टू रिप्लेस दिस एक्स बाय फाइव डिवाइड बाय टू एस वेल सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बिकम एट माइनस फाइव डिवाइड बाय टू and here if we simplify 8 minus 5 divided by 2 we simply get 11 divided by 2 so therefore this whole side length 8 minus x turns out to be 11 divided by 2 so therefore our length pc turns out to be 5 divided by 2 and this length ap is 11 divided by 2 and here's our next step let's go ahead and calculate uh, this uh, length uh, bp now therefore we are going to replace this x equal to 5 divided by 2 value in this uh, equation 2 and here's our equation 2 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so b p whole square equal to 25 minus uh, 5 divided by 2 whole square and now 5 divided by 2 whole square is same as 25 divided by 4 now we can see this right hand side has been simplified over here and turns out to be 75 divided by 4 so therefore bp whole square turns out to be 75 divided by 4 now let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking the square root uh, on both uh, sides this square and square root is gone so our bp value turns out to be this could be written as square root of 75 on the top square root of 4 is 2 at the denominator and now we know that the square root of 75 is simplified as 5 times square root of 3 so therefore our bp length turns out to be 5 times square root of 3 divided by 2 and that's our length so therefore our this length bp turns out to be 5 Times the square root of three divided by two, and here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate uh, this uh, length uh, PD now. So for that reason, let's recall intersecting chords theorem. If two chords intersect in a circle, then the product of uh, these segments uh, A R equal, as you can see, A B equal to cd so therefore in our case we are going to multiply this segment times this segment pd equal to this segment times this segment so therefore we can write 5 times square root of 3 times our this pd equal to on the right hand side 11 divided by 2 times 5 divided by 2 now let's multiply both side by 2 times 5 times square root of 3 on the left hand side and we are going to multiply 2 divided by 5 times square root of 3 on the right hand side as well and we can see they cancel each other out and if we simplify the right hand side pd turns out to be equal to 11 divided by 2 times square root of 3 now let's go ahead and rationalize this denominator by multiplying and divided by square root of 3 and we know that square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3 so therefore we got pd equal to if we simplify the right hand side that's going to give us 11 times square root of 3 divided by 3 times 2 is 6 so therefore our this length pd turns out to be 11 times 
square root of 3 divided by 6 this side length and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate uh, this length uh, BD and we know that the length of BD equals to this uh, BP plus uh, PD let's go ahead and write down BD equals to 5 times uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 plus uh, 11 times uh, square root of 3 divided by 6 and if we add and simplify these two fractions our BD turns out to be 13 times square root of 3 divided by 3. So thus our BD length turns out to be 13 times the square root of 3 divided by 3 or in terms of decimals it's approximately equal to 7.51 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.